Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to work on this guy. I know y'all been waiting a long time for this one, so I figured I'd go ahead and knock it out real quick. Now, I made one a while back and it was too big. So what I had to do was I scaled down the patterns and now it fits me perfectly. Yeah, it was really snug fit, but I prefer that than it being a big old bobble head on me. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Using my overhead projector to project the image down on my EVA foam and I'm tracing it out. And then I'm going to cut it all out. Once you're done, you're going to have all these pieces. This is your front piece. This is your side piece. And here are your top pieces. And then this goes behind the head or around the neck. And then you got some smaller pieces, which you'll see where they go later on in the video. And before I start to glue everything together, I'm going to take my wood burner and I'm going to etch these lines in here. And this will help these side pieces take shape. Now I'm going to proceed to glue the top pieces together. I'm gluing it on top of some wax paper and using the surface of the table to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And once I get that done, I'm going to glue on the ear pieces. And once you get both your ear pieces glued on together, it should look something like this. And then now you're going to move on to the side pieces. And you're going to want to carefully attach it to the top piece. This part is really tricky, but if you are patient, you can get it done right. You want to make sure everything is nice and lined up. And later on, you can go back and sand off whatever isn't straight. So far so groovy and everything is starting to come together. Now I'm going to glue my back pieces together and then once that's done I'm going to glue these additional accents to it. They're not really accents I guess but yeah. Glue that together and it should look something like this. And now I'm working on the mouthpiece. It should look like that when you're done. And then glue the top of the nose to it like that when you're done so now I've got the mouth guard glued to the cheeks and then I got the back piece glued together this gets a little tricky but like I said just be patient take it nice and easy and you can get everything in right I had to go and recut the eyes because this area actually needs to be beveled inwards so yeah the first cut was bad then again I'm not perfect I don't expect you to be either Things are looking kind of crusty right now, but that's okay because I'm going to conceal everything with some pinstriping. But before I go do that, I'm going to sand down whatever I can smooth. I got a package of these craft foam. It's got some textures on it and it comes in different uh, shapes and whatever. I'm going to cut them down into some really thin strips and then I'm going to glue it on here so I can hide all these imperfections. You want to be really careful when you're adding on these pinstripes because once it's glued on, it's on for good. If you mess it up, then you have to scrap the whole helmet and do it all over again. So I recommend you go practice on your mom's car first. At this point, I'm like, what did I just do? This doesn't look like what I want. But I went ahead and added some more pinstriping, hoping that maybe I would be satisfied with it. And yeah, I think I'm digging it. So I'm going to stay with it because I don't feel like making another one. So I went and sealed it and painted it all black and I laid on a couple of coats. This is how it looks like when it's shiny, but when it's dried, it dries down to this really nice looking matte finish. I love it. I'm so loving it. Now I'm going to go back and prime all the pinstripe. I'm going over it with some gray because gray will conceal the black. And then once I'm done with all that, I'm going to go back with some metallic paint and carefully apply my metallic paint. Now it's time to cover up the eyes with some mesh. People are asked, what kind of fabric is that? And I just tell them, go to the fabric store and put them fabrics up against your eyes. And if you can see through it, then that's the one you want to use. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. The templates will be on my Facebook. The PDFs will be available on my website. Yeah, I've, I've never really announced my website because it's not complete, but you can still go in there and snag you up some templates. So uh, yeah check it out if you guys like what I do hit the like button if you guys want to check out more stuff then make sure you hit that subscribe button for you know notifications and stuff 